So I just stopped and it's like it was looking at me while I was looking at it. So I just kind of try to creep around it. We about to go snorkeling. Got a couple non-swimmers out here today though, so might be a little shaky with them. Oh, it was hilarious. You got your snorkel goggles on. Dude's got noodles all around his stomach. Got a life vest on, everything. Look at Darte. Look at him with the life jacket on his. <laughs> got your life jacket on, boy. You making sure you protecting your life. That was actually a lot of fun. Uh, I wasn't expecting like all those kids. I was expecting maybe 20 kids to come. There's probably 50 kids there. And they kind of put me on the spot though, because I was the only scene, so I had to make the speech. And I, I think I did a pretty good job of uh, introducing our team and telling them how you know school is important. And you gotta have good grades to get into college. That's first and foremost. A lot of kids ask, like, were you going to the NBA? A lot of kids ask if you ever played against somebody in the NBA. What was, your, what was your favorite team? Um, a couple of kids asked about school. Repeat the question. How do you get to from high school? How do you get to a basketball team in college? And we were all sitting in the audience with them, and they just kept asking us questions. They're like, "How tall are you? What grade is he in? What position does he play?" I think they asked, the, "Does our coach yell at us?" How do you guys handle when the coach screams at you? We all just started laughing. Like, you don't know. Only if you knew. <laughs> Drexel basketball loves the kids. It, was, it got crazy once we started signing shirts and giving them out. So they was giving us arms, sneakers, backs. And everyone was going wild for these prizes. We were giving out t-shirts. I mean, a couple guys took off the shirts and had them signed. It was, it was just wild, but it was a lot of fun. Oh, man, they were ecstatic. Like. Looked like a bunch of NBA players walked in there. Can I get your hat? Can I get your shirt? Your rubber band? It felt good though. You know? It felt like we really made them happy. So you know, we really enjoyed that experience. It made us realize that we may not be famous here, but like a lot of people look up to us, and they didn't even know anything about us besides that we played basketball. You know, it was great. It was a great feeling. You know, the little kids looked up to us. So they was they wanted to be around us a lot. They had this little handshake they did with us out there. So that was really cool. They did it like that. That's how they did their handshakes out there. Okay, I want everybody to say, let's go Drexel. Let's go Drexel. I guess they don't get a lot of like basketball players, like people from other countries and stuff like that down there. So I mean, it was a good experience for them. Get it, get it, one, two, get it, get it, two, three, ten, and then get up on it and ride that, 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 get up on it and ride that. That night, that night was was bad to start with for me because I don't like heights and we had to take a skyline to the dinner. I hate heights. I might not go. When we got up there, it was cool to, to like look down on St. Thomas and see everything at night. We just going up the mountain here, you know. Alright, yeah, St. Thomas. Daryl, he wants to be the daredevil and shake the whole thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is shaking, man. Whoa! Cam's scared. He's like, yo, chill, stop, stop playing. About to go get some dinner. How was your ride, guys? The ride was quite intense, I'm not gonna lie. How was your ride? It was pretty good. So then we were eating dinner, and this guy came out of nowhere. He's like, you guys wanna see something cool? A lot of fire around, playing with it, throwing it everywhere, taking the fire, putting it out, blowing it back out again on, onto his arms and stuff like that. It was crazy. I was kind of standing like right next to him, and then one trick he just did, and all the fire was coming towards me. I never seen nothing like that before. I don't know what to say about it. It was amazing. I would never try to do something like that. It was a reality check. You know, we went in there thinking that we were just better than everybody. People just came out there with more intensity and more focus than us, and they beat us. So now we had to come back and reevaluate ourselves so we can get ready for our game. We're really looking forward to conference play and bringing our A game. Uh, our team is going to be a lot better. We're doing a lot better in practice. Um, before it was just so much hype, and we never got that much hype before. So we're out there, work hard every day, and then be proud of wearing the blue and gold. That's it. Wear the dragon on your chest every day.